Hi everyone, it's Heidi with The Weathered Fence Post and welcome to our channel. My husband Steve and I are resellers in the Raleigh, Garner, North Carolina area. We have two booths, one at Antiques at Gresham Lake in Raleigh, North Carolina and one at Collected Treasures in Garner. If you're ever in the Central North Carolina area, we'd love for you to stop by and visit us and check out all the cool treasures that we have. What we love to do on this channel is we love to take you out hunting with us for the treasures. Personally, my favorite part of the whole thing. And then we also go over the haul. Today's video is going to be a combination because we went to what I think was one of the best hunts we've been on this year. But unfortunately, I think I was just so excited about the hunting, I didn't get enough footage for a full video. So we have about 14 to 15 minutes of hunting that you're really going to enjoy. And then I'm going to go over, get started on the haul. We're going to have a second video to finish the haul because we found some fantastic stuff. I'm so excited to go over it. I cannot wait to get into the haul. There's some really great pieces. Where we went, we met Joanne with Bat Thrift Crazy and her friend Rhonda, who is becoming our friend now too. And uh, Steve and I met them there. It's near the airport in Raleigh. And we went to Garage Brothers Warehouse. Now, I don't know if you're, you remember, there was a show back that ran six seasons between 2013 and 2017, and it was called Garage Gold. It was on the Do It Yourself Network, which is now the Magnolia Network. And these guys did great. They, they're based out of Raleigh. They go out and they clean out garages, and they went over what it was like to do that and some of the great finds that they had. So they have continued that work. They're wonderful people in the community. They really believe in repurposing and, you know, saving the environment. So it's right up our alley because we love the whole repurposing, reusing, saving items from the dump. So anyway, about once a month, I think they hold a sale at their warehouse for items that they have cleared out of people's garages. And I'll tell you, I think this is going to become quickly one of my favorite places to go. I think I say that all the time, but wow, I just, I don't know if I hit it on the right day. It just had the kind of things that I love. I cannot wait to get into it. So first, let's go out. Let's go out to their warehouse. Let's do a little bit of hunting. Okay, fellow treasure hunters, we are at a warehouse today. We've got crew with us, Steve, Joanne, Rhonda. We're all going to do some hunting. Cat. Cat. We're being greeted by a puppy. Cat. Let's see what treasures we can find in here. Hi. Hi. How are you? What's your name? What's your name? That's my dog. Yeah. Like that mirror. That's cool. That's really cool. Eyes adjusted. Like that. Very nice. Look at Rhonda Frown. <laughs> what do you got, Joanne? I got this. Ooh, that's very nice. But I don't know if it's too farmhouse. I don't know. Oh, that's pretty. I think it's pretty. I want flowers in it. I'm getting this right here. That's a definite for me. Look at this. This is awesome. Rhonda, you can make a fire. Love that. Oh, look at the sun. I like that, too. I'm thinking this is really cute, too. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. This metal. Oh, I love this. It's got a ladybug on it. That is so cute. Somebody's going to love that. That's going in the pile, too. I mean, I'm going to have a whole bunch of stuff right off the gate here. Look at this. My pile's already starting. I'm already getting a great pile going. What's this guy here? <laughs> Arts Folk. That's a neat piece. It does have a little crack on it though, so I think I'll wait on that. Got that right there, that ginger jar. We're gonna check that out. Ooh, what's this piece here? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Awesome. Grabbing that. Hang-ups. <laughs> That's cute. 
That's nice. I like that. What's up there? What is that? Yeah. What is that? Seeing some ferns. I like the fern. I might have to check the fern out. Cause it, it's kind of stuck down in there. What's this one? Kind of greenery is nice. All right, let's see what else we got here. These are cute with the elephant. Are you kidding me? These are bookends. These are cool. These are cool. These are bookends. Yeah, I'm definitely getting those. I was checking this out. This Kayani sewing master. So it looks like it's a little sewing machine in there. It's kind of dark. Um, let's see if I can get it pulled out a little bit. I don't want to pull it. I really don't want to pull it out. But there's like a sewing machine in there. Well, this box was sitting on top of this box. And in this box, oh, look what I found. Look what I found. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I love you. It's awesome. Oh my God, that's so awesome. I'm going to look in this whole box and see if there's any more. Let me get this into light where I can dig. I am so excited about this. And I see a little, oh my gosh, I see a little donkey. This is so awesome. Look at this one. Look at this one. Oh my goodness, it is so cute. I love it. Oh my gosh. What else is in here? A little bunny. Look at that. You found a fine animal. Okay, here's like a racehorse. It's a little broken, so I'm gonna ignore that. Here is a dog with spaghetti hair. This is a great little box that I found here. What's this guy? Okay, this is a Dalmatian. Okay, this is a Dalmatian. I don't know if I would be right near the airport. <laughs> so you might hear an airplane once in a while, right near the airport. Um, I don't know if I want the Dalmatian. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. I know you guys are enjoying this, so I'm gonna keep bringing you along on the trip of finding stuff in here. Don't care about that. <laughs> These are awesome. Okay, don't care about that. So you know I'm always gonna be digging in the boxes and looking, so let's see what's in this box. If we can get it open. Let me get, it, get it Okay, open. let's see. I like this. That's pretty cool. Um, I was going after this angel right here. Yeah. this one. What is it? Oh, it's a lamp. So cool. Isn't that cool? That's very cool. Okay. Um, birds. I might get these for me, the birds. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. Definitely getting that. That's pretty. Ooh, those are cool. What are they? Oh, I love them. <clears throat> Turn them this way so we can look at them. Oh, that's nice. Rockport, Massachusetts. Yeah. From the that's waterfront. Nice. Gloucester. That is so cool. Love them. Do you want them? Yes. Steve says he has a pile back here. Let's go see where his pile is. Ooh, I like that. That reminds me of the piece I saw at Goodwill the other day. Looks like it's supposed to have a stopper, maybe. This is what Steve has picked out. The coffee table. 40 bucks. Awesome. And this dresser. Let me see if I can get around to the front of it. I gotta redo it. Love those. Those are beautiful. It's a desk and he's gonna redo it. Turn it into a coffee bar. He's in charge of looking for furniture. I look for the smalls. 
But I do kind of like this right here. Is this anybody's pile right here? No. No? I like this. Nice heavy duty metal piece. Look at this elephant I just found, guys. Is this not cool? I love, love it. And look at that. That planter. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. So many great pieces picking up here. Very excited about what we're finding. This is Italy. Rooster. Beautiful. This is Rhonda's pile and Joanne's pile. They're finding all kinds of great stuff. You saw Steve's pile. We're, we're all loading up. And I've barely scratched the surface of this place. Could definitely get in trouble in here. I gotta check with Steve, see how much cash he brought. That's a pretty piece. It's got a very unique look. It's got a little chip on it though. It's really pretty. Oh, here's a little planter. With butterflies. Yeah, we'll definitely get that. Those are always very popular. And look at these. Those are unique. There's only three of them though. If there were four, I maybe would pick those up. Let's see. Got these made in Taiwan corn husk or corn skewers. And then look at this tray with a butterfly. We'll get that pulled out. And I don't know if you saw the bikes and the fire hydrant and this industrial looking table with wheels on it. It's kind of got the industrial look. And what are these I'm seeing over here? This looks fun. <laughs> What's this right here? What are these? Let's get this pulled out and look at it. Oriental trading. Okay, so it's a dinner tray. It's got some weathering to it for sure, so I'm probably going to pass on it because it is quite rusty, but I do like the look of it. It's definitely probably mid-century modern. So we've got some brass here. brass candlesticks. Let's see. They do have a little bit of pitting on them, so I think I will pass on those. I really like the brass candlesticks to not have as much pitting. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Are you kidding me? Right now. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. These are fantastic. These are fantastic. A little bit of water on there. I gotta wipe that off on something. Wow. What a great find. I'm so excited about these. So excited. Okay, I see something back here that looks pretty good. What's this? Gorgeous. 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 Look at that crackle bit. Oh my gosh, a crackle pitcher. Are you kidding me right now? Awesome. Awesome stuff. I'm so excited. You know, everybody else always ends hunting so much sooner than I do. And I just won't, I just don't give up because I just, when the hunting's this good, that means there's more stuff here. And I'm just not ready to give up yet. They're all checking out. I mean, there's so much stuff here. Look at these. Look at this. This is cool. Oh, it's got some damage. Okay, I think that goes on there. So they're carrying this person. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at this face. It's a Lennox. Very pretty. Sorry if my filming's not fantastic. This right back here, I'm kind of after. 
This is a tagus, yes, made in Portugal. Let's see how that looks. It's pitted pretty bad. Yeah, gonna have to pass on that. A little bit too much pitting. All right, what do we got here? A vase. Uh, nothing special there. I was just seeing this. That's pretty. What's this? Oh, oh. Is this in good condition? Are there loose pieces? I've never found one in good condition. This looks like it's in good condition. It's filthy, but I don't see loose pieces. The birds are intact. I would say a yes to this all day. Let me, uh... You see the pitting on it? It's pretty the bad. Pitting? They're here. It's pretty. Oh. I mean, you would have to sell it with the patina, yeah. you know? Uh -huh. that, that would have to be a patina thing. Yeah. I definitely looked at that, for okay. sure. Did you see these dress I did, same thing with those, okay. like the top of those. Kind and of did you see that? I did, is that? Okay. I hope you enjoyed that little bit of hunting. I wish I had filmed more of it, but I didn't. <laughs> and I'm sorry if there was some like jostling around and it wasn't real steady. Sometimes when you're hunting, it just gets so exciting. You're looking, you just can't, you can't almost control yourself. That, I mean, or I can't, I can't. <laughs> I almost cannot control myself. I just get kind of excited and I'm bouncing around a little bit. All right, we are gonna get into a little bit of the haul. We'll get it started. We'll go over some items to give this video some, uh, some depth, I guess. And then I will have another video that will come out probably midweek next week and we will go over the rest of the haul. So let's get into the haul and see what we found at the Garage Brothers Warehouse. You saw that I fell right in love with the sun. Perfect time of year to pick up a piece like this. I think he's fantastic. He looks like he could be copper. I don't believe he is. It, I think it's just a metal piece that has like a brushed copper finish look on it to make, you know, made to look copper. But I thought he was great. I think he's very relevant. I think somebody's just gonna love putting him in their garden. So he was a definite yes. You know how much I love showing mirrors, but this mirror was so cool. This was one of the first things that I saw going in and I just thought it was great. It's like a heavy metal. I love the design on it and it's round and mirrors do really well. We sell a lot of mirrors in our booth. So I thought it had such a cool, unique look with the border. I just love that. Definite yes. These two fabulous pieces of artwork Steve brought to me. So he found them. I'm not sure where he found them in there. I didn't catch it on the video, but I love these. These are Massachusetts seashore or coastal pictures and by Jazz F. Murray, Rockport, Massachusetts. I love these. These are pencil and um, I will have to clean them up a little bit. The frames are very fragile. So these are older pieces. I kind of like that look though. I like that they have that weathered, fragile look to them. But I don't know if you can see, is it this one? Oh no, it was the other one. I've got to take the other one out of the frame because part of the framing is showing up. The part, let me bring it back up here so I can show you what I'm talking about. I don't know if you can see right there. See that little guy right there? I've got to take this out of the frame and reframe it because that should not be showing on the outside, but great pieces. I particularly like this one. Really love this piece. Look at the detail on that. My father is an artist with pencil. I've got a piece downstairs that I really love that he did. And this just kind of reminds me of my father's work. Love this. This is one of the first pieces that I found going in. I really loved this. Great enamelware bucket. I cannot determine if this is an older piece in really great condition or if it's a repot. I don't, I can't tell. The, I'll tell you, I think it's an older piece. I really do. Um, it's got some scratches on the bottom that kind of tell me it could be, but I think it's the handle and maybe the screw on the handle that kind of makes me believe that this is an older piece. That handle looks like an older styled 
piece of wood. So I do believe this might be older and not a repop. I think it's fantastic. Plus the handle here, the wooden handle here. But I mean, people can do a good job. And they're, if you look at like the edge of that handle, I don't know, it just looks older. I think it's, it is an older piece and it's in just fantastic condition. I was super excited to find this. I don't know what it is about me lately, but I just seem to be picking up larger pieces. And they're finding new homes. People are enjoying them. And I know someone is going to absolutely love this. I have seen these before. When I've been out hunting with my sister in Florida, we stopped at a, a garden center that had a lot of metal artwork like this for the garden. And these are very expensive to pick up. So I was really happy to find this sunflower piece. It has this really cute little ladybug on it. It's got a rock on the bottom to hold it and weight it down so it doesn't tip over. Great piece for somebody's garden coming up. Cannot wait to put this in the booth. Perfect, perfect for this time of year. Not sure if you're gonna be able to see this very well. That's why I put the white thing up in the back because I was trying to make it so that you could see these zebras. Look at this great metal art piece. There's three, four zebras, three facing forward, one facing backward. I think it was really cool. This would look so great on a, on a statement wall. Gonna give it a try. I'll see, it's a big piece. It needs a lot of cleaning. But uh, I thought, you know, why not give it a try? I, I think it's pretty cool. So we'll see what happens with this. You saw me take a look at this on the video and I did say yes to it. It is heavy duty. This is a pretty stout piece. That metal is very, very heavy. And I thought the top wasn't in too bad of a condition. So nice plant stand, again, very relevant for this time of year. And uh, I like the, you know, the fact that it's the, the grass or, I don't know if you call it wicker or bamboo or whatever it is, but it's like the grass. I like that with the metal. I think it's a nice look. And another mirror, really liked the look of this. Looks like it would be a great entryway mirror where you could hang your hat or your coat or your purse or whatever. And I think what I'm gonna do with this, I've got an idea. I think I'm gonna kind of bleach this out. I'm going to remove these. I think I'm going to kind of bleach this out. I don't think I'm going to paint it or restain it. I might, I might want to try a project on this. I don't know if it's a really old piece. I think it's vintage. I don't think it's antique, but I do believe it's a vintage piece. I really like the look of it, though. And I will, uh, maybe I'll let you, if, you know, this is going to be a project piece. Maybe I'll do a video on that project, or I'll just show you a picture of how it came out once we're done with it. Not sure when I'll get to it though. Another great big piece that I picked up that I really love. Garden related, this is the time of the year for it. And the neat thing about garden stuff is that if for whatever reason it does, it, this will find a new home, I'm not even worried about it, but if for whatever reason it didn't, I would love this in my own garden, on my own porch or on my back porch, somewhere. I just think this is fantastic. I love the feet on it. I don't think it's an older piece. I think it's a newer piece made to look like it's vintage or old, but I love it. I don't think we went over what we spent. I did in the other video. Well, actually in the beginning of this video. <laughs> oh, I'm getting confused. I did go over in the beginning of this video, I think. I spent 50 on everything that I purchased and I got 48 items. So it worked out to like $1.12 an item. Steve spent 40 on what he purchased. I spent 50, he spent 40. So we spent 90 total. Some of these items he picked up. He didn't pick up as many because he picked up furniture items and like these two fantastic lamps. These are so heavy. I do believe these are brass. They are gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. I haven't even had a chance to see if they work. Not a big deal if they don't because Steve can rewire them. We've got, a, we've got the trees, so we're good there. We just need to find a really great shade for both of these, but there were two of them. A beautiful matching set. Stunners, absolute stunners. I can barely lift these. Oh my gosh, they're so heavy. They're awesome, awesome pieces. Okay, I'm gonna go over three more items and then we're gonna wrap this video up and then you're gonna need to come back midweek, probably, is when I'll get the next video out to finish up this haul, because I've got a lot of work to do. I'm always saying that, aren't I? I'm always busy. Okay, this I was excited to find. Very excited. You know I love pottery. 
I love the look of this. This is signed by Gwen Fryer. And I did look her up. Still an active artist as far as I can tell. I don't know if she necessarily does pottery as much. I saw some artwork like um, jewelry type of artwork that she does. And uh, based out of uh, Atlanta, Georgia, I think is where this artist was based out of. But I just love this piece. Such a great piece. Kind of would look good with those zebras, I think. Kind of got like a zebra look to it. Steve found this, but I this was in my haul, my $50 haul. But he found it and he thought, oh, I there was a I think there was a lamp lamp part. Somebody had maybe made a lamp out of this. Yeah, because there's a hole there in that cork. So there was some lamp piece there, some lamp parts there that he wanted. And I said, well, let's get the bottle too, because the bottle's awesome. Look at how the glass looks like it's starting to, uh, you know, melt. It's got that aged look to it. I don't know if it is an older piece. It does have this really interesting J on the bottom. I need to maybe do some research on that to see. I don't know if that's a hook or a J. Just love the look of it. The coloring's great. So I said yes to that. You saw me find this. I was really excited to find it. It's a beautiful amber crackle glass piece. It's, a, it's like a mini pitcher. I like the size of this. Put it up next to my head. <laughs> you see how big it is. Nice size. Beautiful, beautiful coloring on that. And that's the base of it. Okay, that is it for this video. I'm gonna get this up today. Today is Friday. I'm gonna edit it. I'm gonna get it right up there so that you can enjoy it today. And then I'm going to come back and work on filming the rest of this haul. And hopefully by midweek, sometime this week, I'll get that up there for you. Everybody, thank you for joining us on this hunt and going over part of the haul. Hope you come back and see the rest of it. Get out there yourself. Go out and support your local uh, vendor malls and resellers and find yourself a treasure and something that'll put a great big smile on your face that you'll enjoy and uh, take good care of yourself until we see you next time.